Good morning, all my monkey lovers. I wanted to give you guys a tour of our enclosure that we finally can say the bare bones are finished on. Of course, we'll always be adding more to it and we have little touch-ups here and there to do, but I wanted y'all to be able to see what we have accomplished so far. So let's go on a tour. So the back perimeter fencing is 100 feet long and the perimeter fencing around the outside of the enclosure is three feet away in some areas and four feet in others. The actual main play area is 20 by 20 and 12 foot tall and then their little enclosed house is six by six by five. So let's go. Get into the enclosure first. You'll go through the perimeter fencing gate. Then we built a catch-all. This catch-all will come in handy when they're out here playing when they're larger. And of course, when they play out here, they'll probably go diaper free. And this gives me a little area to get them one at a time and kind of clean them up. I'm gonna put like a little table inside here and, um, and stuff so I can, you know, maybe re-diaper them before we go back in the house. So you'll go, through the catch-all gate, close it behind you, and then you'll enter their enclosure, which eventually will be locked to keep other people out. So inside their enclosure, we haven't put a lot of play things yet because we haven't finished that part out. And of course we still have our scaffolding and our ladder because we're welding more supports at the top, but everything in here has been welded together we used horse paneling, so it's really strong and durable. And we added extra supports at the top and we're going to continue to add more. As of now, everything I have purchased to go inside the enclosure is strong enough to hold um, humans and the monkeys because we wanna be able to play with them on everything. Like this swing says it can hold up to 700 pounds and I love being on there with the babies while they're learning to climb and learning to play on their own. The same with the net, it says it holds like 500 pounds. So we're gonna, of course, rearrange this and kind of just toss it up for our inspector to kind of get an idea of some of our plans. We're gonna line the bottom with either turf or mulch. We haven't 100% decided on that yet. Their little enclosed house area is not finished out. We're gonna trim everything out and then eventually that will be insulated for, you know, winter time and um, it will be faced out. So there will just be like a four foot tall door that's two foot wide that they can go in and out and feel secure inside there when, when they want. But right now it's just kind of a little platform and it's actually strong enough for all of us to get inside it, sit there. Um, if I wanna do some kind of lives or videos while we're swinging, I can set up the camera from there and the top is so secure that my six foot tall husband can climb up there on it so everything's really solid and durable and I'm so excited for them to be able to grow into this space and come out here and have plenty of area to swing to climb to play so some of the common questions that we get asked about their new outdoor enclosure is are they going to live out here and the answer to that is um, that's not the plan. So they live inside our home. They're with us 24 seven right now because they're just little babies. And we consider them part of the family. They're our babies, we love them. And we hope that they always want a place in our house and want to stay in there with us at night and always come in and out as they please. And you know, they have their bed inside. They do have an indoor enclosure. They have tons of play areas and that will continue to grow with them. However, we're also realistic and we know that facts are facts. They are wild animals. They're exotic animals. And when they go through sexual maturity, four or six years old, even when they reach 10 years old, they could change and they could decide they want to be out here all the time. They want to feel like they're in the wild. They want to be outdoors 24 seven and their behaviors could just demonstrate to me of saying, mom, we don't want to wear a diaper and we don't want to be in the house. And although that'll make me sad, that will be my problem to deal with because I want to make sure that their needs are always met and they're fully happy. So if that's what they want, 
then at least we know we'll be prepared. And this house will be insulated, it'll be heated, it'll be cooled. We'll have a misting system outside to keep this cool. Although, as you can see, there's really huge oak trees um, in both directions that provide ample shade. So um, we try to make sure we pick the best spot for them. Not always, but oftentimes. The monkeys that you hear stories about when they get older and they become aggressive is because their needs are not 100% met, both physically and mentally. And we wanna make sure that we continue to provide enrichment, we continue to change up their space. They are always being able to nurture their natural curiosities um, and that we provide that for them. And as long as they're happy, we're happy. And so that's why we wanna be prepared for whatever the future may hold. Right, guys? But right now, they just want to play with each other as long as they can be close enough to touch mommy. And I'm okay with that. <laughs>